Hi, my name is Carlos Chacon. I'm the attacking midfielder for FC Miami City. I'm from Venezuela and I'm 20 years old. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm a right defender or central back. I, I come uh, uh, from France and uh, I play for Miami City in PDL. Bonjour, je m'appelle Neyem Amdi, je viens de France, de Brive la Gaillarde. J'ai 20 ans, je suis milieu de terrain et je joue pour le FC Miami City. Je m'appelle Mehdi Tayeb, j'ai 25 ans, je suis gardien de but. Je suis de Paris, mais je suis né aux états unis en Caroline du Nord. Et euh, je joue au FC Miami City. Hi, my name is Alejandro Santillan, I'm from La Belle, Florida. I'm a goalkeeper for FC Miami City. Mi nombre es Gerandi Suárez, soy de La Habana, Cuba. Juego para FC Miami City y soy lateral derecho. Mon nom es Joel Ouedraogo, je viens du, de Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. Je joue en position de l'attaquant à FC Miami City. Bonjour, je m'appelle Kevin Wharton. Je suis défenseur central pour le FC Miami City. J'habite à Propriano en Corse. Hello, my name is John Colino. I'm a player of FC Miami City and a left back and I'm from Caracas, Venezuela. Bonjour, je m'appelle Rassambe Kakmatov. J'ai 20 ans. Je viens de France, de Strasbourg précisément. Et je joue milieu de terrain et je joue pour le FC Miami City. My name is Adam Shati. I'm from Miami, Florida. I play right midfielder for FC Miami City. Bonjour, je suis Abde Ouled, milieu de terrain au FC Miami City. Je viens de Strasbourg en France. Hey, my name is Chris Davis. I'm from New York. I play right back, right mid, and I play for FC Miami City. Hola, soy Brian Perea. Soy colombiano de la ciudad de Cali. Um, mi posición es delantero y juego para el FC Miami City. My name is Mohamed Ben Zakur. I'm from Morocco and I play as a winger for FC Miami City. My name is Moub. I'm from Paris. I play forward for Miami City. Hey, my name is Hamza Murshid. I am from France and I play forward for FC Miami City. My name is Kevin Kwafik. I play for FC Miami. Um, I'm from France and I play center back or center midfielder. My name is Fares. I play middle feeder for FC Miami. I'm from France. Je m'appelle Hervé Batomila. Je viens de France. Milieu défensif et je joue pour le FC Miami City. Hola, mi nombre es Andrés Palacio. Eh, soy de Colombia. Juego en la posición medio campo y delantero. Y juego para el FC Miami City. Hola, mi nombre es Félix Rullero. Soy de Venezuela. Mi posición es portero y juego para el Football Club Miami City. Hi, I'm Mohamed Kuruma. I'm from Canada. I'm a striker for Miami City FC. Hi, I'm Zach Merzouk. I'm a forward and I'm originally from Morocco and I play for FC Miami City. Hi, my name is Ethan Sonis and I play and I'm from Argentina, born in the US. I play center back or defensive mid for FC Miami City. excited we have been working hard we know we know what time is it so now we're excited to begin even like an hour before we, we wanted to begin estás nervioso por el partido ah uh, no nervio es ansiedad un poco ansiedad porque soy el capitán y pues quiero pues dar el ejemplo y que todo empecemos bien y ganar los primeros tres puntos aquí en nuestra casa. So it's going to be a great game. We've been training for this moment for quite a while, so we're ready for this. Siempre el inicio de la temporada queremos sacar los primeros tres puntos hoy y hacer un buen partido. Esperamos salir con la victoria hoy. We'll move the ball and just attack the goal. Play with intensity and put pressure up top. Vamos a ganar 4 a 1. What's your final score? Um, I think we could win 3-0 today. Whatever happened, happened. Just giving everything on, on the field. So we have been working um, pretty hard with the, with the team to prepare the season. 
So when the, the, the ref blow the whistle for the first time against Lakeland Tropic, um, we saw a lot of players and we saw a team dedicated to win together. Est ce que je sais exactement ce que je viens de dire en fait c'est faut lâcher la balle plus vite et bouger 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 on n'a pas assez bougé en première mi-temps si on bouge on les fait courir ils vont ils vont plus ils vont, ils vont plus tenir jusqu'à la fin Not only Naïm who scored the first goal of the, of the season for the FC Miami City, but uh, also we saw Joel coming from Burkina Faso. Uh, he scored twice uh, for the team, so it was uh, you know, pretty impressive for him to start and, uh, and uh, to score two goals. And uh, the, the last goal scorer was Mouhoub, so he's from, uh, he's from France. He has been scouted after uh, February's tryout. Uh, so all together, uh, you know, those four players plus the team and the hard work the team put together um, offered us a great result for the season opener against Lakeland Tropics. How do you feel about scoring the first goal of the season? How do you feel about scoring the first goal of the season? How do you feel about scoring the first goal of the season? I feel good, I feel in confidence and I'm happy. The second game that we played uh, was against um, South Florida Surf. Uh, we won 3-1. Uh, it was a really great game and really interesting game because all the time when we face uh, the South Florida Surf, uh, it's a competition um, among the competition actually. Uh, we have good relationship with the, with the club and, um, and you know all the time it's uh, really like a rivalry again uh, against the Surf. So we saw again Naim scoring for the second time. Uh, so this kid is uh, really talented, he's only 20 years old. Uh, um, second goal was scored by uh, Hamza. Hamza is a talented player who plays at Gannon University uh, in uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, the last goal was scored by uh, Paloma, our team captain, for the past three years. Uh, so 3-1, the final result. Uh, really happy with the win. Uh, this is really something that we wanted to you know, uh, consider. Definitely a good, a good and great result for the team. I think it was a very good game. They came out to play a bit, Nosotros los presionamos siempre bien, la presión alta que siempre tenemos y bueno, eso nos sirvió mucho para, para presión, cuando los presionamos a ellos se asustaron un poco, sintieron la presión del equipo en los primeros minutos que era más importante y ahora sí ya empezaron a manejar nosotros el juego. Se nos vinieron los dos, los dos goles al principio que fueron importantes, después se pararon ellos mucho mejor y nada, fue para allá y para acá el juego, fue muy bien. Ouais, c'était dynamique, il y avait un bon rythme, on a bien géré le match et ça s'est bien passé, on a gagné. Donc je suis content, c'est bien pour l'équipe et il faut que je continue comme ça. Después de el primer juego, una confianza nos tuvimos, después de ganar 4 a 0, la confianza fue mucho mayor. Y hoy que ganamos 3 a 1, siempre estamos ganando por más de 3 goles, más confianza vamos a tener para los, para los juegos siguientes, el, el miércoles. Tenemos el próximo juego contra Weston. ¿Afuera? Sí, es allá en, en, de visitantes. Pero vamos con la confianza que nos tenemos ahora, que podemos y lo podemos hacer y podemos ganar. Entonces, por eso lo, vamos con todo allá. La confianza es la misma. you guys been doing to prepare this game? Mostly like we we did a lot of recovery because we played like a lot of games. Three games in uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, less than a week so we did like a lot of recovery and to get pre prepared for this game. Uh, what's your prediction for tonight? I'd say we won. 3-0. The um, following game was against uh, Weston, so that was the first time that we faced Weston in the competition, same thing as Lakeland Tropic. Uh, so it's hard to tell when you travel to, uh, to uh, an opponent that you don't know the level basically because it's the first time that uh, those guys are playing in the PDL. So we went there, we won 5-1 uh, away, uh, that was great. 
great because uh, you know the chemistry in the team was uh, really 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 good um, Joel scored for the third time this year we saw Kevin Quafik as well uh, Kevin is a decent number six he's really really uh, he's a really um, important player uh, he had uh, play um, in France for a great team such as uh, FC Lorient uh, the four, the third goal sorry was scored by uh, Mohoub so second goal for Mohoub in the season um, during the second half we saw Ethan, uh, Ethan Sonis coming uh, uh, from the bench. He scored a very, very great goal uh, from uh, outside of the box using his, uh, his right foot, uh, his lefty, so for him it was a really, really good goal. And the last, one was called, uh, the, the last goal was scored by uh, Yerandi Suarez, so pure player from FC Miami City. He has been playing with us for the past three years. And uh, when uh, Yerandi scored the goal, uh, it was a consecration for him. Three in a row, five to one. Yeah. How do you feel? What are your emotions right now? I'm very, very happy. We, we work ev at every game as a team, and we win every game as a team. That's, that's, that's really good for, for us. This is your first score yes. in the, this season. Um, how do you feel? It feels good, and that's, that's, my, that's my home field. Like, I play for boards here, so like, I hope it's going to be the beginning of like, more goals during the season. It's good to score right now. But like the most important one is to win like five one of the team and keep going, keep winning. It was, it was a good game. And this is your first time playing. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> this is your first time playing in this club. Am I right? Yeah. yeah uh, and you scored three times. Uh, what are you looking for for the next game? We, we always look looking to to do better the next game. So that's the the. Um, the third win and we we need to win every single game that we can win and we have the mindset to win all the game and i know that if we continue like to work as a team uh, like that every single game we can do something great this season you guys gonna change like uh, any strategy for the next game or are you guys having the same like game plan we have like three games in in a week in not even a week so like we're gonna have a rotation for the next game but like every player we 26 and whatever like the subs that are going to come in, all the new players, we always, we're going to be always a good team and like have a good like, good, good shape, good shape, chemistry, like whatever, who's going to play. Finally, the last game uh, in May was against uh, Sima. Sima um, is a soccer institute of uh, Montverde Academy. So Montverde Academy is a very important uh, academy up north, close to Orlando. So um, around the 19th minute, uh, we received the red card. Uh, I'm not going to say that it killed the game, but uh, it didn't help the team to, uh, to perform. Um, Momo Kuruma like the, the best goal scorer that we had last year scored his uh, first goal of the season. Uh, we finished the first, uh, first half at 1-1 and unfortunately at the end of uh, the game Sima scored the second one. So that was the first defeat of the FC Miami City for the season. But I have great hopes that after two weeks of breaks uh, we uh, will see the FC Miami City uh, doing a great job this Sunday against uh, IMG Academy. Bah, la préparation, euh, voilà, gros gros travail foncier. Euh, je pense que tout le monde, euh, tout le monde, a, ça lui a fait du bien parce que euh, on a comment, on commence à avoir, euh, commence à avoir les résultats sur les autres équipes, qu'on est, euh, qu est très bien physiquement. Euh, concernant le championnat, euh, on commence bien, on est dans nos objectifs, on commence mieux que l'année dernière. Et maintenant, voilà, si tout le monde est sérieux, qu'on a, qu a un petit peu le facteur chance, c'est-à-dire pas trop blessé, pas trop suspendu, je pense que cette année, il y a moyen de faire quelque chose. Après, après la balle est dans notre camp, hein. de toute façon on s'est commencé 90 minutes sur un terrain et ça nous jouait. Bon, bon domaine offensif, on a très grosse, très grosse capacité offensive, on a beaucoup d'occasions dans les matchs. Défensivement on a une certaine solidité, après je pense qu'au niveau de, de notre bloc collectif, on doit être encore un peu plus solide euh, pour voyager. Parce que pour le moment, on a quand même eu des matchs assez, assez simples, on va dire, parce que les équipes n'étaient pas préparées. Nous, on a eu une grosse préparation, donc on a fait la différence là-dessus. Maintenant, je pense que si on veut voyager et espérer quelque chose, ça va passer par le collectif. Et voilà, tous travailler encore dans le même sens, pas se tromper de priorité, et, et puis ça devrait le faire. 
On fait un très bon début de saison. Malheureusement, on perd un match contre Sima 2-1. Où on prend un carton rouge au bout d'un quart d'heure, ce qui nous fait du mal. Après, je m'inquiète pas, donc euh, je pense que ça va aller. Euh, à vrai dire, les... au début, j'étais blessé. Mais l'équipe a... a gagné. On a... on a enchaîné les victoires par une défaite qu'on qu aurait pu éviter. Mais bon, on se retrouve deuxième. On peut, on peut encore gratter la première place. Donc. Euh... On va, faire le, on va prendre les matchs après les matchs et on va, on va, on va donner le maximum. Oh, le groupe, on évolue bien et je pense que ça va le faire. Nous avons travaillé bien, nous avons fait un bon principe de temporada, mais il y a beaucoup de choses que nous pouvons confirmer encore pour pouvoir aspirer à être dans le top de los dos primeros. Todos están haciendo un buen trabajo, hay cotos que tienen que seguir trabajando más para, para, para venir en el grupo, pero yo pienso que, que el equipo en general está, está trabajando muy bien. Todo el mundo está muy motivado, creo que je pense qu'on va a hacer, que vamos a llegar hasta el final, así que no me hago soucis para la fin de saison. Objetivo, los playoffs, con el equipo que tenemos, el grupo que tenemos, avec le début de saison qu'on a fait, on ne peut pas passer à côté, c'est inacceptable. Après, il faut faire attention, ça va très très vite. Comme j'ai dit, il y a des équipes qui collent. Mais si on continue à travailler à l'entraînement tous les jours et si on reste appliqué, concentré, il n'y a vraiment pas de, de raison qu'on ne soit pas au playoff. Et même la première place, c'est vraiment l'objectif principal. Ben, je pense qu'on est de mieux en mieux. Il y a de moins en moins de blessés. Il y a de la concurrence. Donc euh, chacun est capable de jouer, on peut faire tourner. On a des matchs tous les trois jours. Donc, il euh, y, 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 ouais, y a du niveau, on peut, on peut aller chercher les, les playoffs euh, si, on, si on reste sérieux. Au du classement, et il faut qu'on fasse les playoffs. First game in June, we faced IMG Academy, so it's always a competitive game when we faced IMG Academy for the past three years. Those guys, they train yearly, uh, they have players uh, playing in their academy, so it's uh, always a rivalry. Uh, so we went to um, we went to Central Broward Regional Park to uh, to play against them. Uh, we won 2-0, two, uh, two great goals. The first one was scored by uh, Momo Kuruma with uh, an assist uh, uh, by uh, Jonathan Parpex. And the second one uh, was scored uh, uh, during the last last final minutes uh, by Zach Merzouk uh, with an assist uh, by Chris Davis. Uh, we were really happy because uh, when uh, you know uh, we played the last game in uh, in May against Sima. Uh, we lost the last game uh, in May and uh, we had you know, to uh, roll over the, the game to, uh, to be very uh, back on track, if I can say so. Hi Zach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. After two weeks uh, without playing, how do you guys prepare for this game? I think that, gave, that break gave us uh, some time to think about what the games that are coming up, the four games in like, I don't know, like two weeks. So yeah, two weeks. we've been preparing really hard this week. Uh, we went intensity hard and then we know this game is not going to be easy. So. And we're trying to grab as much points as possible because next Wednesday, this coming Wednesday we have surf and I, we know it's going to be a battle. But the game, we, have, we like it was a good win, it was in after two, two weeks break and um, after like a big game against surf uh, this, Friday, this Wednesday. And uh, we have to learn from this game a lot. We have a lot to do, a lot to work for the next two days at practice. But it was, it was a good win, it was a good win. After facing IMG Academy, we had a um, back-to-back uh, with, uh, with Palm Beach, so they, they came to us, we uh, played them uh, on their field, the Central Broward Regional Park. Uh, it's always uh, difficult for the past two years to play Palm Beach because uh, they are pretty decent, they have a very strong team, and for us it was uh, something like a very competitive game. So we had to, you know, be back on tracks after uh, losing uh, in May against uh, against Sima. We won IMG. We played Palm Beach the first time 4-0. We won 4-0. We played them a couple of days after. We won again 4-0. And uh, I can tell you that all the coaching staff they, they were really happy with uh, with those two wins against Palm Beach. How do you feel about this game? Very good. We have a clean sheet. We scored four goals. We could have scored more goals, but. 
at the end it's a win without uh, with a clean sheet so I'm happy f with the win we we play as a team and uh, every time like every game is is the same we, we we play together and work together it's the most important After that, we faced for the second time of the season Western FC. We had the chance to see Booba, the French rapper, and uh, our partner coming on the field to kick off the game. Uh, that was a, a great opportunity for our team to uh, be as close as they can with, uh, with Booba. So Western FC came to us this time in Tropical Park Stadium. We knew for a fact uh, that Western, they, they, they were not ready when we faced them at, uh, their, uh, at their field. So, you know, Probably after a month of uh, getting started with the PDL, uh, taking their marks, uh, they could have some expectation coming to us to, to beat the FC Miami City. Finally, we won 5-0 again. That was a great, uh, great game for the team. Uh, we saw Hamza Morshid scoring twice, for instance. Uh, Kevin Kwafik again. And, um, and Jonathan Parpex uh, assisting another goal. Um, so that was a good way almost to finish uh, June before uh, traveling to uh, Tampa Bay Rally. We traveled to Tampa Bay Rallies. It was the first long travel trip for the, for the boys. Uh, we went there with a lot of apprehension because when you face, uh, let's say, a reserve team of a pro team, it's always difficult because you don't know what to expect, especially because it was the first time for the Rallies in our division. We took the game uh, very seriously. We came into the game with a lot of uh, implication and at the end of the day we won 3-1 on the road again. So um, with this victory we um, got like a lot of expectation and we saw the road to the playoff drawing you know the, the lines in front of us. After facing Tampa Bay Rodies, we had a week of break. Uh, we had the opportunity to play again uh, against one of the best selection in uh, Latin America. We faced the selection of uh, Nicaragua. They were in uh, preparation of the Gold Cup. Uh, so the game was very important for the kids because it was probably the first time that the City Boys got the opportunity to face a uh, selection from a country, not a team. And uh, at the end of the game, the, the score was 0-0, but we saw a lot of, uh, you know, focus, uh, rigor for the FC Miami City facing the, um, the selection of Nicaragua. And uh, you know, when you have the, this opportunity, like a once in a lifetime opportunity, you have to take it, you have to seize the opportunity and play uh, as best as you can. So 0-0 against the selection, that was a very good result for us. The following game, we traveled to IMG. So they wanted to take the revenge after the, after the, first, um, the first victory. Uh, we had a, a game in two days, so let me explain. We played like the first half, not even the first half. Uh, we were winning 1-0 and unfortunately we had to stop the game uh, due to the um, uh, lightnings. Uh, so we stopped the game for two hours and a half. The following day we came back on the field and at the end of the 90 minutes the score was 2-2. That was pretty hard for us because we had a lot of expectation in that game, especially because we were competing for uh, you know the, the first place in the um, the first place in the rankings. So 2-2 was not a bad result when you know that we were traveling, but it was a bad result when you have big expectations in the in the rankings. We won Tampa Bay Rollies 3-1 at, uh, at their field. They came to us with the, the idea to beat the FC Miami City. We played a very serious game and it was the last game of the season. We had the opportunity by winning the game thanks to the villages because they won against Sima. We had the opportunity to be uh, champions of, uh, of our division. Unfortunately, we tied the game 0-0. Um, but thanks to a, a great season behind us, we got uh, a qualification for the playoffs and, uh, you know, it was what all mattered for us, getting to the playoffs and taking the next following games uh, with, uh, with uh, Sirius. Uh, very intense second half, 0-0. Oh, um, what is your takeaway from this game? 
Of course, we are a little bit sad, you know, because uh, there was uh, the opportunity to, to become champions. Uh, of course, maybe you can have advantage on the playoff, but uh, we need to be proud at the end, you know, of this uh, part of the of the season because uh, we did our job. Uh, basically, we are in the playoff, and uh, of course, we can uh, we can adjust something to to arrive ready. Très 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 intense, mais on a les occasions, on les met pas. Pourtant, on a fait le, le match, on peut pas faire plus. Ils ont joué derrière en bloc. You guys are in the playoffs. How are you guys going to prepare for that? On va travailler dur, très très dur. On va rencontrer des équipes très très costauds qui ont fini premier de leur championnat. Donc euh, on va bien préparer cette semaine et en espérant avoir tout le monde et faire un de bons playoffs. We are really confident that uh, we are going to work uh, good for the playoffs and uh, uh, to try to do our best. And our best, of course, is uh, try to do something that uh, that is uh, is a dream. After the regular season, we traveled to uh, Clinton, Mississippi, uh, to compete for the playoffs in our uh, conference. Uh, we faced OKC Energy in semi-final. Um, I mean, OKC Energy is a reserve team of a pro team in USA. So, like the Tampa Bay Rollies, you don't know basically what to expect. They finished first in their division during the regular season, and uh, we wanted to take the game very seriously with a lot of uh, implication. Um, so we went there uh, in the, with the idea only to, to beat the OKC Energy. So we went there, we won the game 1-0. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that it was an easy game, but uh, we, we took it very seriously one more time. And uh, thanks to uh, the, um, the, the hard work that we put together during the, the regular season, but also the, um, the pre-season, uh, the team have been able to uh, you know, win that game. We play on Friday against OKC Energy. That was a very intense game. Uh, the players uh, were really tired after this game and we had to play against the following day against Mississippi Bria. Uh, we played the game 90 minutes, 0-0. We got two periods of overtime, 0-0 again. And we went to the penalty kicks. Penalty kicks at the end, we lost 3-1. Uh, congratulations to Mississippi Bria for their, their good season. Uh, regarding the FC Miami City, as we have a lot of expectation for next season. We are really happy with the season and we can't wait for 2018 to start. to say? Ah, introduction? I don't know. You didn't yeah. say anything. Miami City. Miami City. Uh, I played while... Uh, no, sorry. No, I, play, I played tennis. C'est quoi que j'avais dit? My girlfriend and... <laughs> no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. My name is Adam Shafi. I'm from Morocco. I like get it, 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 get it. I was thinking, I was like, okay, where I'm from? <laughs>